For over 120 years, the Wadjamup Lighthouse of Rottnest Island has helped guide ships into the port of Fremantle. This ocean traffic has helped build the Swan River Colony into the city of Perth we know today. But if we're to send spacecraft to the planets and beyond, we're going to need to find a new type of lighthouse to help guide us through the cosmos. Wadjamup Lighthouse was Australia's first rotating beam lighthouse. This means that each of its eight light rays go around once every minute, so that if you're looking at it, you see a flash every seven and a half seconds. Closer to the settlement, Bathurst Lighthouse flashes every 16 seconds, and on the mainland, North Mole every two. These flash fingerprints identify which lighthouse you're looking at, no matter where you find yourself in the world's oceans. Looking into space, we also see regular flashes. At first, we thought these were alien signals, but soon realized it was actually a new type of star, a pulsar. A star spends its existence fighting against gravity. During its life, nuclear fusion keeps this at bay, but when this fuel runs out, it collapses in on itself. Only when electrons and protons fuse to form neutrons, and these neutrons push against each other, is further collapse prevented. We've made a neutron star. Pulsars are a special type of neutron star, which emit jets of energy from opposite poles as they spin. When they face the Earth, we can detect this as a flash, just like a lighthouse. But unlike a lighthouse, we found some spinning at over 700 times a second. How can pulsars spin at such crazy speeds? Let's find out by spinning one up ourselves. Let's begin by looking for clues based on the formation of the pulsar. From one and a half million kilometers across, it is crushed down to something that could fit between Fremantle and Rottnest, about 20 kilometers wide. By using this trolley and some weights, we're going to demonstrate what happens during the star's collapse. During a star's regular life, it spins slowly and the surface is far away from the center. But during its collapse, everything gets brought in and it begins to increase in how fast it rotates, just like I'm about to demonstrate. This is because of the conservation of angular momentum. Momentum is a measure of how much something wants to keep doing what it's doing. High mass and high velocity mean increased momentum, which is why stopping a small weight is easier than stopping a bigger one. By examining the formula and knowing that angular momentum is conserved and mass is unchanged, you can see how even a small decrease in radius results in a large increase in angular velocity, or how fast the star spins. All pulsars are created in this method, with most rotating about once per second. A few, however, rotate at hundreds of times per second. By comparing these fast and slow pulsars, we see that almost all of the fast ones a part of a binary star system. Scientists believe that it is this companion star which helps accelerate the pulsar to these incredible rotational velocities. The massive gravity from our pulsar means that it can rip gas from its neighboring companion. We're going to use this fidget spinner to represent the pulsar and a stream of water from a high pressure hose to show the incoming gas. You might not be able to see it because of the camera's frame rate, but the fidget spinner is rotating at a ridiculous speed. This is just like what is happening with our star system. And it's this process which lets pulsars reach speeds of up to 700 rotations per second. If our fidget spinner were to do that, it would actually break it to pieces. This is the Bathurst Lighthouse. It's the second lighthouse operating at Ronest Island. It was constructed back in 1900 to assist in maritime navigation. This was after the wrecking of the city of York at the end of its voyage from San Francisco. By using two lighthouses, a ship can work out where it is on the ocean. In much the same way, multiple pulsars can be used to specify a location in space. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft both contain a golden record, similar to this one. It has music, greetings and images from the planet Earth. 
The front contains meaningful illustrations that an alien might be able to use to identify where we live. This is the location of 14 pulsars relative to the Earth. The golden record identifies each of the pulsars by their specific pulse signature. This is shown by the dashes on the lines of the diagram. Perhaps one day, the loneliest machines in the universe can be reunited with the civilization that made them, guided by the regular flash of the fastest spinning object in the cosmos. Enormous thank you to the Rottnest Island Authority and the volunteers up at Wadjamup Lighthouse for letting us come and film here. Rottnest has a huge variety of nature and science to explore and we've only just scratched the surface. New episodes of Perth Science are landing soon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, this has been James Singley from the Atomic Frontier. Keep looking up.